prayer and your practice. So let's start at six. Um, when I was preparing the PPT, I actually thought to myself na, I think ito yung pinaka madali na PPT na na prepare ko. So the fact that um, mythology and folklore kasi, when in college, it is the one subject that I was genuinely interested in. Talagang nakinig ako, nagbasa ako. So this was an interesting topic to me. Kaya I think for you as well, magiging madali din siya. So yung sa board exam, yung palaging lumalabas is si Aphrodite at saka si Ares. Sila lang, okay? So goddess of beauty and the god of war. So sila yung palaging lumalabas. Just always remember them, okay? Make sure na sa mga sa mahihirap, I mean sa madadaling tanong, make sure that you're able to answer them already, okay? Para yung kalaban niya na lang is yung mahihirap na items. So again, um this will not be taken very long. I, I think isang oras lang. Yeah, diyan lang din yung <laughs> kaya ko. And also um, this will be uploaded sa aking, let me listen to my voice, okay. This will be uploaded sa aking YouTube, search nyo lang exams, Jenny, at yung mga previous lectures ko na for free, and doon din, okay? Ito kasi yung mga content na I already have before, na hindi ko na masyadong ginagamit, and I think sayang naman kapag hindi i-share, right? So mabuti na rin makapag-practice kayo. Okay, so let me start. Now, for the first one, here is the tip. So every <laughs> every free session, I always share a tip on how to, yeah, a tip for the board exam. So first is you take, this one is you take mock tests daily. You take mock tests daily. So at least, I think marami na yung 100 items at mahirap na siyang i-reach. So during my time, 50, around 50 to 30 to 50 items lang every day. So okay na yon, okay? And it's not necessary na ma-perfect nyo or it's not necessary na 80%. The more mistakes you make while you're still reviewing, mas marami yung matututunan nyo. Kasi isa-search nyo, di ba? Kung bakit kayo nagkamali. And yeah, it, it's an advantage for you. So it's okay na magkamali while reviewing, okay? So again, this will really help you pass. You should practice. Take mock tests daily. Lalo na, practice with the difficult questions, okay? All right, so let me start. So mythology and folklore. So first, we have the pure myth. So kapag sinasabi natin pure myth, guys, it's a story or a series of stories used to explain the world around you, okay? And describe what is happening. So example nito is uh, during that time when Persephone was abducted, in the underworld, tapos nalungkot yung nanay niya, which is si Demeter, right? And so because Demeter was so sad, and that's why there was, um, ano yun? There was, yeah, winter. Ano nga yung four seasons, right? Autumn, winter, summer, and spring. So she was so sad, kaya meron winter. And then, nung bumalik na si Persephone, so ayun din, sumaya na rin siya, kaya there is spring and, and summer. So, you know, ito yung, yeah, kind of story about the weather. So, if it tries to explain the natural world, then that is pure myth, okay? Hello. <laughs> okay, I will be answering the questions. Um, if you don't know me, I am, I am really, 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 really talkative, guys. So, ito yung weakness ko if I'm lecturing. Kaya if I read the comments religiously... Malayo yung mararating natin. At yeah, we, we will finish. Like, yeah, it will take us forever to finish. So, I'll, I'll answer some of the questions later, okay? All right. So, kapag sinasabi namang legend, it is a story coming down from the past. So, lalo na yung mga parang historical, although hindi naman sure. So, for example, yung sa King Arthur, yeah. So, yan yung legend. So, a historical, but yeah, not verified, okay? Another thing naman is yung, of course, folk tale or the fairy tale. So stories that contain supernatural characters such as ghosts, elves, dwarves, and so on. So they include elements of magic, you know. So example nyan ay Cinderella, right? Yung fairy godmother niya. So it's it's really magical. And then the shoes and, you know, whatever, yeah. So yun yan, okay? Pure myth, legend, and fairy tale or folk tale 
So saan ba nanggagaling yung mga mythology and, you know, the stories? So you have Aesop's Fable, A Thousand and One Nights. So lalabas itong A Thousand and One Nights, dito nanggagaling yung story ni Aladdin, okay? The Great Epics of the World, The Pancha Tantra, The Palms of Hesoid. So I think the last one, yeah, I don't know how to read that, but the last one, um, possibly some of the Greek myth is dito siya nanggagaling, okay? So yeah, just the origin. You, do, you don't have to take note or memorize everything, okay? I'm just giving you the kind of understanding na kailangan natin. Next, okay, so ano ba yung mga themes ng mythology? Of course, you have the creation. There will be also gods and goddesses, heroic figures, monsters and demons, animals, um, the underworld, so journeys, quests, or trials, and of course, the afterlife. So ano mangyayari pagkatapos nating mamatay, right? So yan yung mga common themes na makikita natin. And then here are the mythologies of the world. Actually, sobrang dami nito. Okay, sobrang dami nito. I'm just giving you the, you know, background. Para mas may information tayo or may, may, may clear tayo na understanding as to what this is about. Okay? So mythologies of the world, you have the Mesopotamian mythology. So, so God of the sky, si Anu, God of the storm water and so on so they have the mesopotamian mythology of course i think most common ito the egyptian mythology so you know yung mga osiris sila osiris yeah horus and the other deities greek mythology yung pinakasikat sina zeus and poseidon okay and so on you have the norse mythology as well so dito naman sila odin and Loki and Thor, diba? So, so yung sa Asgard. <laughs> so, glorifies the battle and, and so on. Of course, there is also the Indian mythology. So, yeah. Just the... Okay. So, this is about the conflicts of gods and demons of Hinduism. Okay. And some of them, there will be questions about them later. So, actually, must... Sobrang dami pa, okay? Nang mythologies, kinds of mythologies na pinanggagalingan. But pinaka-common lang talaga sa board exam is the Greek and the Norse, okay? So, let's have this one. Comment your answers. The horse in the Troy actually symbolizes what? So, is it a peace offering, signal or a warning, deep revenge, or victory of the long siege? So, this was an actual board exam question. So, ano ba yung... So, actually, pay attention to the question, okay? All right. It looks like a peace offering. Parang peace offering. But it's actually victory of the long siege. So, hindi naman yon peace offering, right? Kasi there were warriors inside. It was just their way na makapasok sila sa city. So it's victory. Ano ba yung long siege? So it is an act of surrounding a place by an armed force in order to defeat those defending it. So the city was, you know, well defended, well guarded. And then mahirapan, nahirapan pumasok yung yeah, kalaban. And so that's why, okay, they used the horse. Kunyari, peace offering. But yeah, it was actually a way of an offense para makapasok sila. Okay, sa? <laughs> okay, gates. All right. So, victory of a long siege. Yan yung sagot. Next. These accounts depict a flood, sometimes global in scale, usually sent by a deity or deities to destroy a civilization as an act of divine retribution. So, is it Dios ex machina, flood myth, deluge myth, or cataclysmic deluge? Comment your answers. So as I was saying, if mythology and folklore, ito yung, I think, a bit easier. <laughs> because we were all, it was very interesting to na discuss or na tackle natin to in college. Right? Okay, so our answer is correct. Flood myth. 
So very common na ginagamit yung flawed myth in myths, right? Or yeah, in stories. So what is the use of flood myth? So ito, ito na nga. So depicts a flood, global in scale. So sent by gods kapag naiinis na talaga sila sa isang place and they plan to wipe that certain area. So, yeah. Dito papasok yung flood myth. Kapag Dios ex machina naman, it means God from the machine or divine intervention. So, these are the cases in the stories na, you know, parang hopeless na. Okay, let's just say mamamatay na yung bida. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, the solution was there. Okay. And then suddenly, nakaligtas siya just out of nowhere. So that's, yeah, divine intervention. Opposite naman ng Jabolus ex machina, okay? But sagot natin, yung sa flood, global in scale, sent by gods, it's called flood myth, okay? Next, who is the Greek god of beauty? Who is the Greek god of beauty? Is it A, B, C, or D? Kapag, ano masyadong ano po yung internet connection natin, don't worry, kasi uploaded naman ito, okay? Alright, so comment, comment. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ma'am Jenny. I passed the let last September. Sir Eman, wow, you're welcome. It's all on you. You should thank yourself. Okay, but I, I'm glad to help kahit, kahit konti lang. Upload ba ito? Yes po. So, all right, of course, about that, letter A ang ating answer, okay? So, si Athena naman, she is the city protectress, god of war, handicraft, and practical reason. Kaya nga, tinatawag din siyang, yeah, goddess of wisdom. Goddess of war and wisdom. So, that's Athena. If you say Hera, she is the goddess of marriage, women, and family, and the protector of women during childbirth. That's Hera. And if you say Artemis Diana, the goddess of the wild animals, the hunt, the vegetation, and the chastity and childbirth. So yeah, Artemis Diana was not, yeah, a major, not one of the major gods. So yung sa beauty, palaging lumalabas, I think I noticed March and September lumabas si Aphrodite. That's why. Next, just comment the answer. I don't have the option for this. Who is the sister and wife of Zeus and the queen of the Olympian gods? Sino ba yung sister and wife ni Zeus, the queen of the Olympian gods? Please, you can just chat the name. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> so that's, yeah, Hira, right? As I said, diba? I, I think madali lang matapos to kasi para familiar sa atin, usually. Who is known for her Roman name, Venus, and married Hephaestus, the god of fire? She has a Roman name of Venus and married Hephaestus, the god of fire. Just chat the answer. Okay, so that's Aphrodite. Some of my classmates are named after you know, <laughs> the gods and goddesses. Good for them. I only have five letters in my name. Very sad. But okay lang naman. Next, who is the Greek god of war? Who is the Greek god of war? Is it Eros, Ares, Hercules, or Hades? Comment your answers. <laughs> short, short. <laughs> Okay, so it's letter B. Uh, hindi ko na patatagalin itong part na to because, yeah, you already know. Next. So, Eros is the god of love. Hercules the man is, the, yeah, the one with the superhuman strength. But, again, not, not a major, not one of the major gods. Of course, Hades is the god of the underworld. And he is my favorite. He's just sad. But I don't think, na, hindi ko na... You know, I, I don't dwell so much. But in the college, I was really obsessed with Hades and, yeah, yung mga villain and Loki as well. So anyway, comment your answers. Who is better known as Cupid? Sino ba si Cupid? Ano ang kanyang Greek name? Hello. 
Okay, so it's Eros. Good, good, good. Next. So, of course, magpapatalo ba naman ang Filipinas? Nasa tanong tayo at lumabas din ito. Yeah, this was an actual board exam question. In Filipino mythology, what is the name of the creation myth that explains the origin of the first parents in the Philippines? First parents in the Philippines. Is it Genesis in the Garden of Eden, Malakas at Maganda, How the World was Made, or the Creation of Adam and Eve? Or yung high school teacher ko sabi niya, Adam. She was like, okay, Jenny, read this one. And I was so confident, Adam, blah, 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 blah. And she read it again as Adam. Well, I don't know which is which, but anyway, whatever works for you. Okay, so sagot natin is Malakas and Maganda. Malakas and Maganda. So, yung Malakas and Maganda, Malakas was the first man and Maganda was the first woman. And they were created by the gods and laid the foundation for humanity in the Filipino folklore. Okay? So, again, kapag Lumabas ito ulit. At least we already know. So, the origin of the first parents that is malakas at maganda. Okay. Next. Which of the Norse gods is known as the raven god? Which of the Norse gods is known as the raven god? Is it Odin, Loki, Frigg, or Thor? So he sacrificed an eye, right? Anyway, sino ba si Loki? I mean, if you're... Some of you watch Marvels. I'm not very specific. But I enjoy the series. So anyway, Loki is regarded by the ancient Norse people as the god of mischief, trickery, and deception. So to Marvels, ito yung character ni Tom Hiddleston. He was so good looking. Kaya ako nanonood ng Marvels is actually because of Loki. I'm only interested in him. Okay. So next naman is of course Frigg. So she is the queen of Asgard and the highest of the goddesses. So again, ito sila. They are from the Norse mythology. Okay. And of course Thor. So a hammer wielding god associated with lightning, thunderstorms, and yeah, so on. So talagang sa hammer naman siya mas, you know, kilala. He, he is very strong, right? So they are... <laughs> ano. Okay, next. Oh, thank you so much. Which of the following is not an Egyptian god? Which of the following is not an Egyptian god? Is it Anubis, Demeter, Ra, or Amun? Stepbrother ni Thor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are so funny. They, they're, you know, fun siblings. So see, see Loki is the, the trickster archetype. And sometimes villain, sometimes bida naman siya. So it's confusing. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Mom Ariel. Now, dito, not an, Egypt, not an Egyptian god is, of course, Demeter, right? Mother ni Persephone. So, she is the ancient Greek goddess of harvest. Mm -hmm. So, as I mentioned earlier, yung sa pure myth, right? Yung about the, bakit merong winter or summer. So, kasi nung nalungkot siya, kasi dadala si Persephone with Hades. So, kaya nalungkot siya, kaya, yeah, naging cold yung weather. Sana all. <laughs> ano kaya yung weather? If, if we control the weather, right? I don't know about me, but yeah, hindi naman ako palaging malungkot. <laughs> okay. If you say Anubis, he is an ancient Egyptian god of funerary practices and care of the dead. So according to the um, Egyptian myth, after we die, so si Anubis is imimit kanya doon sa afterlife. At siya yung magiging guide mo. Diba? Napaka creepy. If you have seen um, Gods of Egypt... That was actually my favorite too. I really love that. So yeah, nandun si Anubis. Next, um, we have, okay, so Amun or Ra. So siya talaga yung, yeah, I would say counterpart ni 
of course Zeus is the sa Greek siya yung pinaka highest ng gods, di ba? So for the Egyptian man, so it's yeah, Amun or Ra. So king of the deities and the father of all creation. So para siyang yung sun. Yeah, S U N na sun. Okay, Amun or Ra. Now, which of the following served as the early religion, signs and literature of ancient people which of the following served as the early religion signs and literature of ancient people is it folklore legends mythology or parables let me have some of the comments recorded by live yes but i'm not sure okay hindi na updated ang aksaking phone All right, so sagot dito is correct. Mythology. So guys, if you answer and then tingin nyo sa iba is, you know, magkaiba kayo ng sagot, it's okay. Okay? So again, if nagkamali ka, it's fine. Kasi nag-review ka pa lang naman. Okay? So make sure na hindi ka magkakamali doon na sa actual board exam. And also, saan po ba namin pwedeng i-replay? Yes po sa YouTube. It's Exams Jenny pa rin yung page ko doon. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> so again, answer is mythology. Before I become talkative, okay, pasasagutin ko muna kayo. All right. Who of the following Greek characters traveled to the land of the dead in order to find his wife? Is it Orpheus, Hades, Pyramus, or Pygmalion? Hindi ko malilimutan to. It's because palagi kaming nagro-role play in college. And then, yeah, most of these is na role play namin. And my classmates were so funny. I had one classmate. Yung naatas na character sa kanya was Cupid. And oh my gosh, guys, nag-diaper siya. Yung pang-adult diaper. Wala siyang ibang sinuot. Diaper lang. Oh my, yeah, it was the craziest. But anyway, comment your answers. So I am sure na, yeah, I hope you're all ready. Yung three weeks, guys, sobrang dali na lang yan. Para yung i, ano, time lapse. And then pagising nyo, ta-da, board exam na. So, yeah. Nervous, nervous. Okay, so far, tama naman. Device, yeah. Mythology is not so tough. So it's Orpheus, correct. Yung wife niya is C, Eurydice. Right? Orpheus and Eurydice. So before, let's have first... So Hades is of course the god of the underworld. Yung si Pyramus and yung si Pyramus naman yung partner niya si Thisbe. So I think um kasi kami yung na-assign sa pag roleplay nito but I remember konti na lang. Of course matagal na po akong graduate sa college. I think 5 years ago. Um <laughs> so I think forbidden yung love story nila and so they made like a hole in the wall. Kasi Okay, magkadikit lang sila ng wall yung bahay nila. And they made a, a hole there, yung malit na butas, tapos dun sila nagko-communicate. Yeah, that's what I remember. And for Pygmalion naman, um, Pygmalion is like the character na, you know, para siyang, yeah, he creates things. And then nag-create siya ng isang figure, and then na-in-love siya sa figure. And tapos naawa doon si... Go goddess Aphrodite kasi siya yung of course goddess of love kaya binuhay niya yung figure para kay Pygmalion so Pygmalion usually is an opposite to Frankenstein kaya nga meron akong super favorite na quote do noon it says I thought I was Pygmalion but I am Frankenstein kasi si Frankenstein he created a monster that destroyed him right Compared sa kay Pygmalion that he created something at doon siya na in love, di ba? I, I think it's really relatable, especially if you are in a relationship. So you thought you are with, you are, you know, every day you, you're with someone you love. And you do things for this person, hoping that they will make you happy. So you think you are Pygmalion. But kapag sinaktan ka sa huli, so you are not. You are Frankenstein. I thought I was Pygmalion, but I am Frankenstein. So yeah. Hindi ko alam kung heartbreak in college, but I really like that one. <laughs> and until now, yeah, it still amazes me. But anyway, yan yung story nila. Okay, next. 
Okay, nasa na ba yun? Alright. Zeus, ang hindi makasagot nito is talagang babatukan ko na. Hindi ko alam ko ano yung ibig sabihin ng babatukan. But Zeus had two brothers. One ruled the sea and the other ruled the underworld. Anong tawag sa kanila? Is it Poseidon and Hades, Hermes and Ares, Apollo and Eros, Prometheus and Cronus? Ang hindi makasagot? Okay. Oh, thank you so much for sending the stars. Oh, si Ma'am John. She, she is an LPT now. Bago matulog, it, isa to sa pinapanood ko at malaki na itulong sa akin. Thank you, Ma'am Jen. You're welcome very much. All thanks to you. But, oh, thank you. Na-amaze ako. No, no, no. Actually, I think it's my first time na makatanggap ng stars alive. Thank you so much. Or the first time that I noticed. All right. But anyway, sagot natin is, of course, letter A. So it was divided, right? Next, who is the king of Corinth condemned in the underworld to roll a huge stone up the hill? Just as he reached the top, the stone would roll down, forcing him to begin the task again. So sino ba ito? Is it Sisyphus, Sphinx, Spartacus, or Stentor? Adiba. <laughs> Yung, yung iba sa inyo, naghihintay lang sa sagot ng karamihan eh. Ah, maraming letter A. Nako, letter A ito. <laughs> guys, oh, ganyan, guys. Oy. Just answer. It's fine. If you, kapag nagkamali, it's okay. Oh, ba diba? We're almost done. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. But yung gusto ko lang talagang isali is, yeah, si Aris at si Aphrodite. Talaga na-notice ko, palagi sila lumalabas ah. Okay. Alright, some are answering. B and A, so it's Sisyphus, okay? Kapag, yeah, the king condemned to roll a huge stone up the hill. Tapos, pag dumating na siya sa, ah, ulit na naman. So, that's Sisyphus, okay? Sino ba tong iba? So, Sphinx is a symbol of an individual entity, okay? A guardian pink figure, protector of the pyramids. So, usually, nakikita to outside the pyramids, okay? So, represented the pharaoh and the pharaoh's divine power and so on. Basta yan si Sphinx. Yung kapag stentor naman, this is the one that had a voice that was so loud that same as the 50 other men together. So, that's stentor. So, kapag stentor, loud voice. Kapag sa huge stone roll down the hill, that's yeah, Sisyphus. So, yung Sphinx naman, yun yung guards of pyramids. Ano ba yung isa kong... And the yun? Distractor? Si Spartacus? Actually, I'm not so familiar. Nakita ko lang siya. I, I think there's a series. But this is also like just a very strong man. Yeah. But anyway, hindi yan. <laughs> you can disregard that one. Next. So Tartarus, Elysium, Asphodel, and Erebus all pertain to which region? Is it hell, heaven, purgatory, or the underworld? Tartarus, Elysium, Asphodel, and Erebus all pertain to which region? Okay, Sanba. <laughs> oh. All right, so this is correct. The underworld. Yeah, tatalino niya na ay. Yeah, bukas na exam, magtake na kayo, ready na. Really, ma'am? Sana yan yung tanong. Okay. So that is correct. The underworld. At nawala ang aking PPT. Nasaan ba yun? All right. So the underworld was divided into three regions. Okay. So first is the paradise for the good. And then the black pit for the bad. Sinong pupunta sa Tartarus? Okay. And of course, the Asphodel Meadows. Meadows. Meadows, it's meadows, right? Which numb the minds of the dead. So, yung mga regions, it's the underworld, okay? Asphodel meadows. Wow, really? Next, a plot device in literature which is usually employed where visions are realized due to the action of the characters who try to prevent them. So, ano ba itong device na ito? That some characters are trying to prevent their prophecy. And then, dahil sa kaka-prevent nila, is nagkatotoo na. 
what is it? Is it foresight, self uh, insight, self fulfilling, or oracle? So an example of this is the story of. I really don't know how to say this. Some are saying Oedipus, some are Oedipus. Oh, basta siya. Okay. <laughs> See, Orex na lang. <laughs> Please wag bagay judgmental, okay? No one taught me. I, I really like to read. And when I read, I just read it as it is. Sabi nga nila, if a person daw mispronounces something, it means they learn that through reading. There. So, ano ba yun? Yeah, ano ba yung story ni... Let me see my Facebook. Okay. I hope I'm still seen and hear, heard. Well, thank you so much. Okay, so of course, si Oedipus. Oedipus ka na lang, okay? So yung, yung prophecy kasi niya is that, I mean, his parents, nalaman nila na yung anak nila, okay, which is Oedipus, he will, when he grows up, he will kill the king, he will kill his father, and marry his mother. He will kill his father and marry his mother. And so the parents, of course, were very scared of this. Natakot sila. And so that's why pinadala siya sa malayo, you know, in the mountain. Yeah, whatever. And when he was sent there, para nga ma-prevent yung prophecy. So he was found by another king and he was adopted. So there. So however, as, as he grows older, so, of course, he heard rumors, di ba? Na parang questionable yung, ano niya, how do you call that? Y yung sa parents niya. Like, something is not right. Kasi, of course, the reality was adopted lang siya, di ba? Kaya, you know, to figure out the truth himself, nagpunta siya sa oracle. And then, yung oracle, sinabihan siya na actually, okay, your destiny is that you will kill your father and marry your mother. And so si Oedipus, natakot siya. And so because he was scared, so, okay, lumayo siya sa kingdom. And then on the way, he met a king. Okay, and yeah, on his journey, unknowingly, he kills that king. And so, yun palang king na yun is yun yung biological dad niya. Yun yung sa, sa prophecy. And so, na bumalik siya sa original city kung saan siya nakatira. And with where he found, like, I think that was a, a sphinx. Yeah, yung sa picture. <laughs> yung sa guard, yung sa, yeah, earlier na item. And so, this this city, Theb, yeah, again, I don't know how to pronounce. But just, just forgive me. And so, na natalo niya yung sphinx through the riddles. And so, the people were so happy kasi naka-free na sila sa sphinx. And he became king or the people you know appointed him to be king in which he married the queen at that time and then so on and so forth na nalaman niya na yung napatay niya pala is his dad and then yung napakasalan niya was his mom and so i i guess his mom committed suicide after or the queen committed suicide and then oedipus yeah blinded himself so tawag natin dyan ay self-fulfilling prophecy okay so, the thing for you guys is do not overthink, okay? Minsan, if you just understand the question, you'll find the answer. The answer sometimes is in the question, diba? Right? So, visions are realized due to the action of the character, diba? Right? So, sila mismo yung nagpa-totohana, nagpaka, nag-realize sa prophecy. And so, that's why it's self-fulfilling. Okay, but anyway, that's the story. And then, so a belief about a future outcome that helps to bring about its own own fulfillment. So because of, you know, trying to avoid it. So yun din yung naging reality ni Oedipus. Oedipus, okay, whatever that is. But ano, ano yung makakapasaya sa inyo? <laughs> I'm okay, I support. So if you say foresight, it's a prediction, okay? Kapag insight naman, it's like your idea or your deep understanding. At kapag oracle naman, makikita ito. I remember, meron din dong oracle sa Percy Jackson na books. So someone who offered an advice or a prophecy, okay, to have some 
to have come directly from a divine source. So that's an oracle, okay? But again, kapag yung prophecy, trying to prevent it, and then nagkakatotoo, that's self-fulfilling. Okay, let's move on from that. In the Middle Ages and Renaissance, or Renaissance, <laughs> Nakakonsyos ako eh, sa mga English majors. Um, it was commonly described as a symbol of purity and grace, which could only be captured by a virgin. Is it a troll, dragon, kappa, or unicorns? Symbol of purity and grace can only be captured by a virgin. It's alright. Hindi na natin patatagalin. Hala, na-show ko yung isang comment. Hala, sorry. Okay, na-click ko. It's a unicorn. There, unicorns. So if you say kappa, yung hindi, the only one that's not familiar there, this is a Japanese mythical water-dwelling creature. Okay? So they live in ponds, rivers, and lakes. So Japan, kappa. Next, in Hindu myth, he is a god that preserves the world and humans. So in other words, among the options, sino ba dito yung the preserver? Is it Shiva, Vishnu, Krishna, or Brahman? Ay, sobrang ganda naman ni sir. Good evening, beautiful Miss Jenny. Good evening, Dej. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nayako. Okay. So, sino ba dito yung the preserver? Na dito, so iba-iba na yung sagot natin. Yeah. Sobrang dami mythologies, right? It's fun. So, actually, it is Vishnu. Okay, wag mag malungkot or wag mag -alala. So, if you say Brahman, that's um the creator. Wait, bakit ba iba yan? Okay, so it's actually, yeah, Brahman. Sorry, uh, the lack yung letter N ko, but if I change it, I have to restart all over again. So, siya yung the creator, okay? Yung preserver naman, that's Vishnu. The destroyer, it's Shiva. So, Krishna is the god of compassion, protection, and love. I lost my notes. I have this, yeah, na memorized ko to sila. Lalo na sa English major dur during my actual exam. At sobrang dami pa na iba. Yeah, I will hahanapin ko yun. <laughs> All right. So again, kapag preserver si Vishnu. Okay? So imagine nyo na lang na yung preserve v, v, my letter V. That's preserve Vishnu. <laughs> okay. Shiva, the destroyer, Raman, the creator. Next. Okay, balik tayo sa Greek or yung alam natin. The story of Cupid and Psyche depicts undying devotion. What was Psyche's mistake that, according to Cupid, was a betrayal? So is it Psyche got infatuated with Zeus? Wow, really? Psyche believed her sister's persuasion that her lover was an ugly beast and would kill her. Let her see. Wala natawa sila sa Vishnu. Preserve Vishnu. Um, okay, Psyche disobeyed her husband when she enlightened his face in the middle of the night. Or Psyche left the house without her husband's permission. So ito kasi yun, diba? Psyche was, is, is a very beautiful young lady. And so she was so beautiful na sinasamba na siya ng mga tao. And of course, Aphrodite, or Venus, Aphrodite, the, the goddess of beauty herself, naselo siya, diba? Like, Bakit naman itong, si Sai, itong mortal na itong sinasamba? Right? Well, I, I am the goddess of beauty. Bakit hindi ako? Bakit itong mortal na ito? So, naselo siya. Kaya, you know, he, she's planning something. Of course, god siya, goddess siya. Diba? Lahat magagawa niya. And so, um, she sent her son, which is Cupid, sa Earth and said, Okay, itong si Psyche, make her fall in love with the worst person imaginable. Para yung mga tao, hindi na maging, hindi na mag-idolize sa kanya. And so, well, love is love. So, ano nangyari is, yung napana ni Psyche, I mean, yung napana ni Cupid was himself. So, he himself, yung na-in-love kay Psyche. So, instead na, yeah, 
So, na, hindi niya na-follow yung supposedly utos ng kanyang yeah, mother. And so, that's why yeah, they were together. But I, I think he had like one rule na, you know, wag mo, don't look at me. And as I think as a wife, mag-wonder ka naman. And na-follow naman yun ni Saiki. But over time, you will wonder, di ba, what your husband looks like. And so, yeah, it's true na she was convinced na, ah, baka sobrang pangit niya. You should, ano, you should, dapat, you should be careful. However, yeah, eventually, nadala siya, and yan yung nagawa niya, okay? So, she disobeyed her husband when she enlightened his face in the middle of the night. Kasi, it is a betrayal. It means, hindi niya, there is no trust. Yeah, hindi hindi siya nag-trust sa, oh my gosh, sobrang hirap mag-tagalog. Okay, nahihirapan na ako sa kalisod. Um, yeah, she was having a hard, it means she did not trust her husband kasi tiningnan niya yung mukha niya. And so there, di ba? Oh, ano namang mayayari sa relationship if there is no trust? So yeah, it's nothing. But anyway, that was it. Yun yung, yung answer is letter C. Next, what about this one? Prometheus' gift to the humans was, is it wind, courage, fire, or truth? Comment your answers. <laughs> okay. Ay, napaka-sweet nito sa comments. Oh. I think Menention si siya ng, yeah, ay hindi pala. Okay. May nag-thank you, mahal kasi. Thank you, mahal. I sana all. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's love month, guys. Yeah, but last when by yung last live go. I think there was seven, right? And then last Wednesday was Valentine's. Ano naman ginawa nyo? Speaking of Cupid and Psyche, wala mo nang Valentine's kasi magte kami ng board exam, ma'am. Okay, answer natin is fire, correct? So si Prometheus, yeah, his gift to humankind was fire. Next, According to the Norse mythology, the world is set to end in Asgard, Ragnarok, Wooden's Day, or Yggdrasil. Okay. The power of C. Oh, really? So let me see your answers. It's okay. <clears throat> Yeah, wag nang i-question it. It's, it's actually letter, yeah, letter B, or Ragnarok. So Asgard was, is there, yun yung, yeah, name ng planet nila. Should I say planet? Yung Woden's Day naman, it means Odin's Day. So it's believed na yung mga days of the week natin, it comes from, yeah, also myth. So Woden's Day, and then now in the modern times, ito yung Wednesday, which is now. So, yung kay Thor naman, Thor's day. So, yan yung bukas, right? Thursday. So, yung Yggdrasil, it's a tree, or sinulat ko na lang. Some of you are visual learners, and I respect that. So, this is a tree in Norse mythology, okay? That contains the nine realms that make up the cosmos. So, the world is set to end in Ragnarok, okay? Next. Which of the following is not a purpose of mythology in the daily lives of Greeks? So this time we must analyze. The myth served as a reminder of the man's destiny beyond his efforts. Letter B, it served as a forecast or prophecy of the end of the world. Letter C, it was a source of story and fantasy of the real and imagined. Or letter D, it was part of the religion and closely connected to their morality. So, which is not? Pay attention sa not, okay? Sometimes, hindi yan highlighted, hindi nakabold, hindi capitalized. So, minsan mamimiss natin. So, it, actually, it happens to me. Like, I, I read so fast that I, hindi ko na namamalayan yung ibang words. Kaya, siguro yung pagkakaintindi ko is which of the following is the purpose. So, that's why you have Make sure na at least you read the question two to three times and make sure na 100% na intindihan niya talaga. Okay? Before you answer. 
So correct. Ay, uh, salamat, Ma'am Jenny. Ay, why sa pa yan? Uh, happy ra kayo. <laughs> it, it, it makes me happy doing this, guys. Really. So it served as a forecast or prophecy in the end of the world. So it's not, okay? It's not, yeah. Ito yung medyo malayo. So hindi naman siya, you know, it doesn't talk about ano yung destiny ng, ng mga Greeks or so on. So A, C, and D, yeah, they are all a few of the purposes. So just the prophecy, it's not. <clears throat> Next, the hero, Achilles, was killed by an arrow which hit his heel. Why? Letter A, the arrow was poisoned and it spread quickly. Letter B, when he was dipped in the river Styx, that was the only part which was not covered. Letter C, the heart of Achilles was on his heel. Oh, wow. Achilles, in the true account, died a loss of blood by such a wound. So really, ano ba yung pinakaugat? Or, you know. So if we will, we will, um, bakit kina sumagot ng baby? Walang baby dito, ha? Letter B yan, guys. Guys, walang BB dito. Okay. Bitter. So, if we will eliminate, you will remove, yeah, letter C. Ano naman yung, yeah, the heart is, was on his heel. Really? So, it's, of course, letter B. Kasi yung mom niya, because, yeah. I think it was this time na ipapapatay yung mga baby boys. Oh, baby na naman. It, <laughs> the baby boys is, yeah, they were set to be killed. And so natakot yung mom ni Aquiles. Kaya pinunta siya doon sa river stick. And then sticks. And then holding his, yeah, ito, yung, yeah, yung sa heel niya. And then he was dipped. So all throughout his body is like very strong or hindi vulnerable except lang. Yung sa heel niya lang. Kasi dyan yun humawak yung <gasps> naiinis na ako sa aking pinagsasalita. Yeah, it was the part where tinawakan ng mom niya. Yeah. Kaya hindi siya na dip there. So, it's letter B. <laughs> okay, next. In literature, allusion is a reference to a person. An event or place in which a reader is deemed familiar. In the Sumerian epic Gilgamesh, what biblical allusion was used? Is it the Ten Command com Commandments, the Great Flood, the Exodus, or the Last Supper? Wala pa akong supper, honestly. Okay. Oh, a lot are answering the correct answers. Naglalaba ako sa reverse takes noon. Bakit naman kasi hindi sinali yung heel? O oh, ba Sana wala na tayong pag-aaralan. Ano ba? Hindi nag-iisip. Okay. So again, it's baby. Letter B. Okay. The Great Flood. Okay? So allusion, it's... Uh, I think allusion is you're familiar with literary device, di ba? So parang you're using a certain work for reference. So yung example ko palagi is... Yung ano yung weakness ni Superman, it's kryptonite, right? And then if I say, your smile is my kryptonite. So, yeah, an illusion. Okay, but anyway, in this one, yung kay Gilgamesh, it's the Great Flood. Next, I think this was also, this is a board exam question. Symbol is a representation of something beyond itself. In the Odyssey of Homer, what is best symbolism of the wedding bed? So is it the life of Telemachus, love of family, constancy of Odysseus and Penelope's love, or the hope for the return of Odysseus? So sobrang daming nag-message sa akin. Mom, ano ba yung wedding bed? <laughs> okay, so what is your answer? Let me see. So Odysseus is the king from where? Ithaca, right? So he fought the Trojan War. And then that's why, yeah, look, of course, he was he, he journeyed far away from home. And so I will just cut this short, okay? Because I'm going to go to the next one. 
and I'm smelling ulam. <laughs> Nasa smell ko na yung ulam. So, while he was away, um, many from his town believe na, okay, namatay na siya because of the war. And kaya yung partner niya, si Penelope, is nakatanggap ng yeah, sobrang daming suitors. Okay, maraming manliligaw. Because, yeah, they all believe na patay na si, yeah, Odysseus. Well, Odysseus, actually, he tried to, he tried his best na, yeah, umuwi. And so, sobrang dami niyang struggles going home, right? Yung sa, you know, na-meet niya yung Cyclops, Tina Cersei, mga Sirens, and so on. And then, nakauwi naman siya. And he pretended as a beggar para naman ma-check niya kung ano nang nangyari sa kingdom niya. Yeah, and so he joined a competition yung sa mga manliligaw ni Penelope and then he, yeah, magaling siya sa bow and arrow and that's that's when na-prove niya yung self niya, niya na siya talaga si Odysseus. So, okay, let me see. Okay, and, and finally, so it's about the wedding bed naman. I think there was a certain material that I forgot na basta only Odysseus and Penelope, sila lang yung nakakaalam. And that's how he revealed himself. Kasi he has that knowledge about that wedding bed. Kaya yung symbolism doon is, you know, their love is, yeah, constant. So you can remove... Yeah, letter B is also a good distractor, but yung pinaka ganito yan sa board exam. If you have a more specific answer, yan yung isagot nyo. Okay? Sometimes kasi we tend to play safe and answer yung mas general. Pero kapag may mas specific ang sagot sa tanong, yan yung isagot mo. Okay? Yeah, yun pala hindi na move yung bet. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, kasi malaka strong nga yung ginagamit na material. Only both of them nakakaalam yan. And that's how he proved himself na siya na, right? The one and only. So kayo mga single dyan na naghihintay sa inyong auditions? Oh. <laughs> ano bang gagawin? Okay, next. Which is the theme of Gilgamesh? Is it the importance of love and friendship? Value of self-worth and accomplishment? Preference to immortality, lasting fame through performing great deeds? or significance of death. Yung immortality dito, it's not like, yeah, you will live forever because of something that you've done, okay? So for example, the doctor is a result, right? Uh, until now, he still lives, and everyone still knows him uh, because of the great deeds na nagawa niya. So theme for Gilgamesh, correct? It's letter C. It's almost seven. All right, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, let's move forward. She was abducted from the land and brought to the underworld to become Hades' queen. Is it Hera, Psyche, Persephone, or Artemis Diana? I think you can answer. I have talked about this all throughout the session, so it's letter C, Persephone. Next. Which culture has five separate creation story, stories called the myth of the five sons. Which culture has five separate creation stories called the myth of the five sons? <laughs> so is it Aztec, Egyptian, Mesopotamian, or Greek? Okay, so maybe this is not so common. Uh, let's just answer, okay? So it's actually letter A. So, according to the Aztec cosmology, the world has gone through a series of cycles. So, yung tawag sa cycles ay suns. So, each associ associated with a different element and representing a different er era of creation. So, that's why yung, sa, yung representation pala ng five suns is the cycle. Okay, this is... This is, oh my gosh, ano yun? Okay, metaphorical sa araw-araw natin, right? So, cycles. So, iba-iba yung representation and different, yeah, cycles of creation. 
So sagot niya doon, if itanong yan, it's Aztec, okay? Which of the following stories depicts dualism? Monster Slayer. Is it Beowulf, Aladdin, Mouse Bride, or A Thousand and One Nights? Comment your answers. Okay, let me see. So, bakit ba ito naging, yeah, dualism. So, correct naman, it's Beowulf. So, uh, of course, if you, you know, being a monster slayer, there is, yeah, a struggle between the good and the evil. So, it's heroic, but at the same time, monstrous, then a threat. So, dualism, monster slayer, that's Beowulf, okay? One of the ancient, or the three ancient Greek tragedi tragedians, okay, whatever, whose famous work is Medea? Is it Kalidasa, Rabindranath Tagore, Euripides, or Pindar? When I, when I was reading it, yung manabasa ko is one of the ancient, diba? That's how I read. I just, I don't know why. It, it skips. All right. So, correct answer is, hindi ko na patatagalin. Malapit isang oras na yung nanakaw ko sa oras nyo, guys. Okay, it's your repeaters, okay? <laughs> so, ito sila. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say really number one. Forgive me, I'm sorry. Okay, if I... I sh 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 Okay, si Sophocleson. Basta itong tatlo. So, they are the, in the three ancient Greek tragedians, okay? So, they are referred, often referred as the big three. If you say Kalidasa, yung question usually is, who is the Indian Shakespeare? Yung kay Rabindranath Tagore naman, he wrote the Gitanjali or songs or songs offerings, song offerings, and then Pindar. So, considered one of the greatest poets of ancient Greece, Pindar. But itong tatlo, sila yung the big three, okay? Next. Okay, so this one, another board exam question, but I think sa gen ed ito na tanong, if I remember it well. What is Virgil's crowning achievement? Is it the Aeneid, Iliad, and Odyssey, Percy Jackson, or Medea? Comment your answers. Nagkadugay, ma'am. Nagkagwapa ka, ugmaayo. Ay, si Amur. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Okay, translation. Habang tumatagal daw, lalong sumasarap. <laughs> So, answer natin is, of course, that is letter A. You should know this. Tendency kasi niyan, lalo na sa gen ed at prof ed, inuulit-ulit lang yung questions, okay? So, this may be asked again. It's good na alam nyo. Now, let's have some drills. Okay, sumulat ng Iliad and Odyssey. It's Homer, Percy Jackson. That's modern. Sumulat niyan is Rick Riordan. So, pay attention to Percy Jackson kasi yung mga recent na lumalabas is about Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, di ba? Baka isali na tong Percy Jackson. And of course, for Medea naman, it's... Okay, you repeat this. Now, let's comment the correct answer. This is the last part. Who was the ancient Egyptian god of the sun? Comment your answers. The ancient Egyptian god of the sun. Malapit na malapit na, guys. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, baka malobat yung aking laptop. Alright. Um, isasaksak ko sana. <laughs> okay, just be careful. Alright, so correct. It's Ra. Next, or Amun Ra. Okay, next... What temple of Athena still sits today atop Athens Acropolis? Please comment your answers. It's a charge ko muna guys, baka mola ako in, you know. All right. So it's Ano naman? Ano naman na temple? Okay, that's right. So it's the Parthenon. How did Achilles die? How did Achilles die? Thank you so much sa pagsagot, guys. Okay, pagbalain kayo ni Lord. So I, you know, let's just 
uh, I manifest na lahat ng nanonood ng live is makakapasa, right? The next pastor is next to his or her phone or her laptop looking at this live. Eww, that's so chills. But yeah, killed by an arrow. Okay, saan tinama sa heels. So Paris fired an arrow into his heel, the only vulnerable part of his body. Kasi nga, hindi na... Ano ba yung toslob? Hindi na dip dun sa river sticks. Next, which god is known as the divine blacksmith? Which god is known as the divine blacksmith? Yeah, sana magdilang ang ko. Right? <laughs> okay. All right, that's Vulcan. Another term is correct, Hephaestus. Next, what Cataclysmic event is depicted in the Bible and in Greek mythology. What cataclysmic event is depic depicted in the Bible and in Greek mythology? If I see one correct answer, I... Kapag nalit kayong pasok, okay lang yan. Uploaded naman ito sa aking YouTube, okay? Sana mga ganitong tanong lumabas sa actual board. So it's the flood, the great flood, yeah. Next. This is, an, I think, lumabas ito last September. What gave birth to the expression, beware of Greeks bearing gifts? So sana ganitong tanong. Actually, some of the, meron naman talagang madadali, okay? In fact, some of the questions will be about simile and metaphor at yung iba naman sa grammar, you know, yung mga correct usage ng is, was, are. Yeah, even sa major. But meron din talagang sobrang hirap na akala mo, when I received my test questionnaire, akala ko talaga Chinese yung, yung text because I couldn't understand one thing. And two years ako nag-aralan, ganon yung, yeah. So you can imagine I was, I was really, yeah, having a hard time. But there will be some easy questions. So as I mentioned, di ba yung si Aphrodite, tsaka si Ares? Hopefully. So okay, correct. The Trojan horse. Next. Who was cursed to always have the last say but never speak first? I think na ano yung mga gods. It's because, I forgot. Basta this, this person was cursed. Let's see who can answer. Okay, it's the nymph echo, the nymph echo. Okay, and finally, I don't know how to read that. Is it Chiron? I think that's Chiron, right? Is the king of what race? The king of what race? <clears throat> By the way, hindi ko na include yung head pala ni Anubis, yung sa Egyptian myth, it's jackal. Jackal. Okay, yung head ni Anubis, it's Jackal. All right, so I found one who answered correctly. It's, uh, okay, so the king of centaurs. And that, my friends, concludes our lecture. Thank you so much. Yun talaga yung pinaka importanting tip ko, okay? Always um, practice daily. Lalo na ngayon, you have three weeks left. Sobrang quick lang yan. It's like a blink of an eye. And then kapag malapit na yung actual day, you will realize sobrang dami mo pal palang hindi na pag -aralan. So by now, you should assess yourself in what percent are you ready. At kung, for example, 60% ready ka lang. So ano bang problema sa 40%? At dun ka mag-focus, okay? Kung ano yung nahihirapan ka. 